Yesterday, the federal government of Nigeria and leaders of the labor union came to an agreement that the minimum wage will be increased to 70,000 naira, that is a little bit less than $50. Today, the organized private sectors, OPS, warned that they cannot pay 70,000 naira as minimum wage without government support. The spokesperson of OPS and Director General of the Nigerian Employers Consultative Association, NECA, said, while we, con while we commend the president for putting to rest the immediate issue of the national minimum wage, we also note, most importantly, his commitment to support the subnationals and the organized private sectors paid in you. Also note that this is organized private sector. These are former organizations. I think 80% of us are in informal private sector, which it is totally impossible or realistic to pay 70,000. For instance, a cleaner, 70,000, not possible. Or a doorman, any 70,000 era. Security. Security, any 70 is equal as a freshly recruited member of any of the armed forces. is totally possible for the informal private sector, which comprises many of us. Some of whom wear suit and look formal. Not possible. So these are people like Indomie, Dangote, and the rest, the big guys. That part of this organized private sector. Now they can find a way through it by outsourcing the employment, the staffing. Just the way a bank will outsource security to a security company. The Nigerian police, they do not directly pay the police on duty. They do not directly pay those uniformed security either, pay the company. Or another bank outsource um, marketing, those who deal with So they. They have to be a workaround to this where they have source a smaller part of their employ employment need tax. Source the cleaning to a company. And what the company pay is none of their business. Just need a service, not a fixed employment. That is the only way around it or get government subsidy. How well, many people can government subsidize? Now on a different note, president somehow admitted to having full subsidy because he allegedly told the labor lead union leader the labor union leader testified to this and the president offered him 250,000 naira as minimum wage under one condition you can watch the video over here to see what to hear it directly from the labor union leaders mouth 